Y'all, let's watch an episode of America's Dumbest Criminals, shall we? Oh, but before we do, could you please uh, get up and peek in the room and see where the hell your damn teenager at? Because they was at the police station trying to sell some cars. Who sells cars from the police station? They tried to. Of course, it didn't work. Any workplace where you would figure that you could park your car and it would be safe, it would be a police office. Well, here in Buckhead, I'm sure all the officers felt the same way, but we had one case where some bold crooks came out one night and went to work. Two males, two females. Get on the ground. Officers tracked four people tied to an unusual car break-in. It was very quick work on an incident that started in the parking lot outside the police precinct in Buckhead, Zone 2. It's irrational and it makes no sense whatsoever. Before Jackie Patterson donned his attorney fedora, he was a police officer for the APD. According to the police report, the motorist had parked his personal vehicle to report to work. When his shift was over, he came out to find a rear window gone, but nothing evidently taken. If a criminal does that, he's basically stupid enough to ask to be caught. It takes a lot of boldness to go to a police precinct where police cars and police officers come in every minute to break into a vehicle. Damien Arsenault and Daniel Richardson, both teenagers, arrested. Two juveniles detained. Now, the officer's vehicle, the personal vehicle, was parked next to a colleague. That personal vehicle has one of those dash cams in the front that just rolls all the time. So that's how they got the getaway car's tag number. And that body cam video we showed you resulted from that. From Buckhead, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.